Stephen. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Bevan, and good morning, listeners. Now, tell us what you're all about being in the ridge here, Peter. Uh, Bevan, it's a really strange thing. I come out to the ridge, and every time I'm out here, I seem to get wet. I wonder why that is. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to work it out. I keep dragging with me a, a, a machine called a rainmaker. Right. And um, we turned up in 2007 like a bad penny. I think it was bent or something. We turned up again. Uh, by the way, it flooded on the way home. <laughs> and uh, in, in 2009, uh, we couldn't get out to the bars. The, 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 the road was flooded. And uh, another another time, or a couple of times actually, we've been out since. And uh, we've, we've had some wonderful rain. And then again, uh, we turned up on Monday and uh, we had some rain on Wednesday morning and it looks like uh, we'll probably end up with a, quite a lot more either this evening and tomorrow. Well, and, we hope uh, so. We need, need it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, a farmer kindly donated some money for me to come out, pay the fuel and accommodation, right. and uh, he's likely to get a pretty good soaking. Right. And uh, if, I, if he gets wet enough... You'll throw a bit more money at me. Oh, right. <laughs> Tell us a bit about this machine you've got. Okay, it's, uh, it's known as a Jack Toyer rainmaker because I met old Jack in 1985 through the Inventors Association. And I was probably one of the only blokes that laughed, laughed louder than Jack. And uh, it, was, it was quite an amazing adventure because I'd been taking moisture out of products using grain dryers and microwave technology. And here was Jack, who had been a sea captain and naval architect in his time, had been listening to radio uh, schedules in the afternoon being interrupted by storms building up. So he tuned into the frequencies of the storm and then went home to work in the shed to see if he could make a storm. And uh, basically his neighbours hated him because they had interfered with his their TV reception and all sorts of things. Right. And... Uh, but he was about 20% successful and then uh, we got put our heads together and I suggested a few things because I've been taking the moisture out of products and I thought, well, if we reverse engineer what I'm doing and what Jack's doing, we should be able to come up with something. And we've been 100% successful ever since. Uh, it works fine if you, if, you, if you leave the machine on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. It does get turned off on the odd occasion and uh, we start again. But anyway... And actually, uh, you've got it at the uh, Bidyridge Outback Resort, haven't you? We do, yeah. at the pub. At the pub. At the pub, I couldn't believe it. I was looking for John, at John uh, Murray's emus, they're all over the place. and <laughs> They've been looking at this mirror, big mirror that I've got. And you should see them all lined up there, looking at it, trying to work out what's going on. And they're, they're standing around getting wet. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, no, and I went into the gallery down there the other day. What a wonderful artist you've got. He is, isn't he? Isn't he phenomenal? Uh, so anybody who hasn't been to the art, uh, John Murray's gallery, listen, come on. I'll see you down there sometime today. It's absolutely phenomenal uh, seeing his view and sensibilities and sensational brushstrokes that just turn this whole panorama into uh, a canvas of a bewilderment. Just yeah. love it. Yeah, and that emu he's got out on the road, so... <laughs> Look, I, I, I think a VW probably hit, a, hit an emu out there and it, it ended up being reassembled by another mob of emus from the look of it. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. And uh, we drove around yesterday to have a look at uh, some of Lightning Ridge's better famous places and uh, even saw the Can House out in the, on the Green Door Drive and, uh, and out on Lunatic Hill. Went for a walk on, for the 45 minute walk around uh, out there and looking at some of the older sites that have been uh, built over the years. They've moved a lot of rock and uh, you guys are doing really well. So you must have found the odd pebble or two. There's been a few found. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I don't know why they keep throwing all this other stuff away. I, I keep picking some up and carving it as well. No, and uh, <laughs> keep giving it away to people. I think they, they use it to stain the crows with, but I can't work out why. You can't <laughs> pick on them. <laughs> so, uh, Bevan, it's, uh, it's exciting to be out here, but I turned up when it was blue sky, so I turned up at the right time. Yeah. But, uh, mate, all we've seen is clouds since and a bit of rain, so, you know, I don't know if you want me back here or not. They keep scaring me out of town. 
the miners want to go back to mining. How so, long are you for? Um, here until Monday, oh, and uh, or Monday night, and uh, we turn off at about uh, 20 past five in the evening, and that gives us seven days, um, and that'll normally have wet down a, a region. So we're expecting rain all the way out to Burke and probably further north as well. Uh, but mostly we're focusing around uh, between Pilliger and Canamble right. for a young uh, fa fa farming family down there, the Borowskis. So uh, good on you, Jeremy. Thanks for uh, putting your hand in your pocket. Uh, really appreciate it. And I'm sure the rest of the farmers around here will throw something at you as well, apart from a few rocks. Uh, <laughs> you never know. It might be a bit of red on black. Well, hopefully it'll work out all right. Thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah it's uh, wonderful to uh, come into your homes and uh, say good day. And if you uh, happen to be in at the pub or go and drive and pass, give us a wave. And uh, we're only too happy to talk to you and show you what we can, we're all about. No, no doubt you'll be back again too, Peter. Well, we're always happy to come. And uh, I met up with Ox again. Uh, right. What a wonderful character. You've probably got the funniest man in Australia. <laughs> I think he's probably paparazzi. He can sing this man, and yeah. uh, you need to get Ox up on stage more often. Uh, he's got a wonderful voice and uh, a wonderful sense of humour, and a, a good, good true mate. So, yeah, uh, he's <laughs> so you've really got some characters in the, out here at the Ridge, and oh, uh, I, I really feel at home jumping into that hot water out there as well. I think it's the best pond, the best bucket of water I could find. And uh, I brought my partner out with me as well, so um, she's absolutely having a ball and uh, looking at all this wonderful thing. So she's got me on a strict diet of having to eat chocolate, of course. Oh, um, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's weight loss chocolate. It's uh, coconut oil and cacao powder. And I've only lost 36, 37 kilos. Oh, but, that's, uh, that's a, it's, that? it's a big change and uh, a lifestyle change for me. So I've, I've had to go onto the green juicing diets all sorts of things, but I feel so much better. It looks like I might have kicked off the, the diabetes out of my life and uh, just by going on this green juicing diet. So um, listen, if you, if you really want to help yourself with your health, uh, have a look on uh, superhealthymeals.com. She's got a few e-books and recipes hidden away in amongst all of that. So uh, have a yarn to Pamela at any time. And... Uh, save your life and she's saved mine from the look of it so that's just to help you get wet out here as well so she's come all the way out here to make sure it. I, I stick to my diet and uh, love it and I love meeting you guys so thanks very much Bevan for having me on yep, and no uh, good morning listeners and good morning Opal FM and we'll catch up with you after all the rain <laughs> yeah I've got to swim home this is going to be hard <laughs> no worries <laughs> Okay, thanks, Peter, for coming in, and uh, we'll catch up with you next time you come down. Cheers, and Here's, thanks, Peter. Here's Jamie Checker.